What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to go over this new lithium battery here by BOPGA. We're going to install it on our little club car president golf cart and take it for a spin. Let's get into it. So this right here is the battery. It's the BOPGA battery. Let's hit the very top here. It's a very small battery. You see the size comparison of my hand. We'll get some measurements here in just a minute. This is a 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour battery. It has the Bluetooth app for Google and Apple as well. That's the top. This is the right hand side. So you have some feet to mount it. This is the front. This is the left side of the battery, which you have some battery covers here, some cable covers. You have an on and off switch, a vent and a display as well. So the kit comes with a green charger, onboard charger, 48 volts, 20 amps. It comes with your cables to install it to the battery. You have your extension cable for the charger itself. You have your screen cable. The screen came um, with this bracket here and it wasn't mounted. The screen was actually in a different package. So this is your LCD screen. You have an additional, uh, looks to be a four gauge uh, power and ground cable as well. It is four grade. It is four gauge. And it also comes with a battery removal strap. So in case you still have your old, lead acid batteries, this right here will help you remove them. The first thing I'll say we're gonna do is open the battery up and let's look inside and see exactly what it looks like. Now the reason I'm opening it up is because I want you to check out the inside of the battery without opening it up and risking anything or damaging the battery. This just gives you a good idea exactly how well it's built and what it looks like inside. All right, we got all 12 screws removed. Let's see if we pick it up and see exactly what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like there. I'm gonna put the cover over here. So the BMS. So the BMS is a JBD-DH24SA01 version 1.1. Looks to be 150 amp continuous. That's, I wanna say that's what the manual said on this rear battery. It's got the RS-485 CAN port as well. So that's exactly what the inside of the battery looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble it and uh, go over some next things. So the mount has two mounting holes right down here, and it's just a very thin piece of metal that's been uh, cut and bent there. The right here screen should just snap into place, and it does, pretty simple, and it shouldn't come out, and it doesn't. So very simple, uh, that looks pretty good. I like these color touchscreen gauges. I think that uh, provides a lot of information about the battery uh, to the user. It only fits one way. There's a notch on that plug. Once you fit it in place, you can go ahead and uh, screw it down into the battery there. Power on the gauge. There's our gauge. And we're standing at 63%. Usually these batteries come about 50 to 60% charge. Obviously this one's 63%. Uh, no current right now because we're not using the golf cart. Voltage is resting at 52.81 volts. 19.6 uh, degrees Celsius. Time to empty always says 999 hours. Once you start running the golf cart, this right here number will change as well. All right, so page two, you have a discharge and a charge button here. Now what those do is, let's say you run into a gas station, get a drink or something, you park your cart outside, you carry your key with you. You can also go to screen two. You can just hit this right here button to turn it off. And the same goes for the charge. Let's say you leave it somewhere and you don't want someone to charge it, you can turn the charge off. This right here shows you the cycles. It says it's been cycled at one time, probably in manufacturing before it was sent out. You have the max temperature, the minimum temperature. Okay, your status is normal. Go to page three. And this right here shows you all of the cells inside the battery. So this right here is not the battery. This is just a battery case. These are the cells. So this is a 16 cell battery that's equal up into one lithium battery. So there are 16 lithium cells and it, the green shows you the, um, the highest voltage. The blue shows you the lowest voltage of the cell. And we're talking about a millivolt or two and that's about it. So there, there is that and um, pretty simple gauge. I like it. Do you like it? Leave it in the comment below if you like this gauge. So yes, the battery is a very small pack here. Let's get some sizes. Let's go to the size of the battery first. 
The width is just over 11, so it looks to be 11 and a quarter. Now at the feet, because both sides have mounting feet, there's mounting feet here and here. You're gonna be looking around 12 and three quarters of an inch on your mounting feet. At the very top, you're looking about the same 12 and three eighths of an inch up there. Now the height of the battery, two on top of the handles, I would say about 11 and a quarter to 11 and a half inches tall. This right here should, this battery right here should fit a wide variety of vehicles. Let's check the width back here as well. Now the depth of the battery, 12 inches. And notice the feet here are actually narrower than the battery. So the battery is the width, the farthest part here at 12 inches. Now the top is gonna to be the widest part coming in at 13 and a quarter inches wide. So there you go for that. Um, that's about it. I would say this battery probably weighs, you know, 95 to 100 pounds. It's a pretty heavy battery. Um, so I just don't have a scale out here to be able to tell you the exact number, but it is pretty heavy. Just in case you don't understand, on lead acid batteries, they have hooks on both sides. And if you still have lead acid batteries in your golf cart, put this hook in one side, put the other hook in the other side, and you can lift it out with this right here strap. And this right here is made out of like nylon or something. This seems to be very strong. Like I mentioned earlier, the charger screen matches the logo here. This is the bottom. Got you some indicator lights over here as well. 48 volts, 20 amps, golf cart smart charger. Got your fan. The fan is the only thing on the outside of the body of the uh, charger itself, other than your input voltage wire here and your output voltage wire there, but it's got a handle on it. Now you have mounting options on the very back here in four different holes, and you have mounting options on the very bottom there with a couple of different holes as well. So you can put this on your golf cart and leave it like that, or you can just uh, mount it to your wall in your garage or carry it with you, it's up to you. I went ahead and mounted the charger, mounted it right here on this right here, cavity over here. This right here on these carts are generally directly in the middle, but someone's already moved it over because the lithium battery that was in here to begin with that went bad, it was uh, it's too long. So I just, for the extra room we have around it, went ahead and mounted the charger over there. This is the DC to DC converter. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna wire it up just yet. I need to add a relay to the key switch so it'll turn on and turn off with the key switch and not just kill the battery when it's not being used. All right, got the battery in. I put two uh, screws into it, one at the front left and one at the back right. I'm not sure if you noticed this or not, but I went ahead and turned the lid around. I clocked it 180, so when you lift the seat up, you can read the battery so you're not looking at it backwards. All right, guys, the battery is installed and done. This is the BOPGA 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour battery charger mounted over here in that cavity went ahead and ran everything up underneath the floor mat and this right here is charging so that says no it's at 84 percent top right shows is charging at 16.31 amps 54.17 volts 21.3 degrees celsius charge time to full one hour and three minutes so as it keeps going that'll keep going down I think this right here looks pretty good. Battery's done, so next thing we're gonna do is take it for a ride. These right here plugs fit extremely well into the factory opening there, and I uh, just plug, throw extension cord on there. Right. There she is, it's a good looking little card here. Got the gauge, we're at 84% now. I took the golf cart this morning riding, and I took it to get my daughter from school earlier. The battery. DC to DC converter, it's not hooked up. The charger's over there, you can vaguely see it, the green charger. The golf cart has headlights and taillights on it. I've never seen them work though. And maybe in upcoming video we can get those working, maybe put some speakers on here as well. But clean little cart, I say. Let's take it for a ride. I could definitely use a new windshield. This one's cracked here, that don't look good. And also it's got like tape over here. Maybe in the upcoming future. Also, I need to clean up here. It's really dirty, but got some little mirrors on it. The cart runs out pretty good. It's kind of quick for a stock cart. It's around like 20, but this battery 
really does pretty good in it. I like the size of the battery. It's like a mini battery. Well, there it is, guys. I appreciate y'all watching today's video. I'll put a link to the battery down in the description where you can check it out at. They also have 36 and 72, I believe, in the same size or, you know, close to the same size. But I'll be sure. I'm going to see if I can get a 72 also. I want to check that out on a different system. But appreciate you guys watching the video, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Bye.